How to Choose an Airport, The Portuguese Case. From three old, small, but existing runways in the Lisbon area, Portuguese are set on building a new airport. Big, very big, huge, humongous the size of their ambitions. From the current 31 million passengers to 80 or even 100 million passengers, big. Something like the Turkish entire population, big. Bigger than Madrid Airport, capital city of a country four times more populated than Portugal. Bigger than Rome, capital of a G7 country. Bigger than Paris, the capital city of a nuclear power. An airport able to manage every year passengers that represent 35 times the current population of greater Lisbon area. Current. Because projecting such an airport means that Portuguese authorities are aiming to grow the city three or four times, despite some housing minor issues. True that Euro control projections say that Lisbon will only have 39 million passengers by 2050. However, it's not the first time projections are wrong. True that state projections say that the Lisbon area will lose population. Even adding immigration to natural reproduction, the whole country is shrinking. But what do they know about the legendary Portuguese sexual capability? How dare they? Besides Lisbon, it's not just Lisbon. It's a transatlantic hub. So smart people look at other hubs to understand the move. To shelter the Turkish Airlines fleet, 394 airplanes, Istanbul built a 90 million passengers airport. To shelter the Lufthansa fleet, 710 airplanes, German authorities built a 70 million passengers airport in Frankfurt. Okay, TAP only has 90 airplanes, but Portuguese authorities have high dreams for it, despite some recent financial turbulence. Some may criticize the massive engineering undertake. Small thinkers, small doers. Yes, it's true. The challenge is to build something like six times the area of Expo. In half the time of Expo, but with double the of Expo budget. 6.2 billion euros. This would be a red flag for almost all countries. But the Portuguese just jump at the opportunity. Authorities in this small coastal country are set to redefine concepts that we take for granted cost-effectiveness, or old, old geographic perceptions. The new Lisbon airport could bear the name of a small city called Alcochete. And it's not even in Alcochete, it's in Benevente. And accessibility is not even a problem. Portugal doesn't have a high-speed rail network, but they are available to build one just for the 80 or 100 million passengers. The cost of a new bridge, 2 billion euros, 153 million euros per kilometer, just for the bridge. We need to add the railway costs. Yes, they are also redefining old economical limits. An airport with the size of Alcochete, airport could cost something like 6 billion euros, plus the high-speed rail, plus the high-speed trains. Last time a government decided to build a new airport in Alcochete, the project had to be abandoned due to the raise of public debt. Now the public debt is even bigger, but this financial detail won't stop anyone this time. Don't cheer for Alcachet yet. There are other possible locations where this enormous 6 billion asphalt and concrete rectangle could fit. And there are some new funny places. Pego Ends, well known for low-cost wines, 70 kilometers away from Lisbon. Or Santarem, a place 92 kilometers away from Lisbon, promoted by some creative entrepreneurs. Innovation is the key word for this project. What they lack in money, terrains, and experience in managing airports, they have in pioneering spirit. To connect the new airport to the capital, they are proposing a state-of-the-art infrastructure, a vertiport. The technology for that is so state-of-the-art that it doesn't exist yet. Could the new airport be a simple solution to face the increase of air traffic? Yes. Could it be cheaper, easier, and quicker? Could the same resources be spent in healthcare or education? Yes, 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 and yes, but it wouldn't be the same. Way beyond economics, rationality, and even science, the Portuguese are set on making history. Nothing less than that. Fasten your seatbelts. Our takeoff clearance has been obtained. Let's have the takeoff checks, please.